Okay, let's do the name Nicholas in Descript now. Uh, first thing to point out, we got a CH. A CH you can use the normal versions of the letters, or there's a special combo for CH, which is just a horizontal line with three dashes quickly zigged into it. It's very important that when you're drawing your CH, you either make very clear that they're different lengths and that these three are a group connected to that, or what I like to do is just not lift your pen. It, your, your eye will be able to tell the difference very clearly if you just don't lift your pen for the CH ever. Okay, so let's look at Nicholas. Simplest possible connection way. N I C H O L A S. Now, of course, that can use a lot of beautifying. So let's try to make this look nice by making a few combos. First of all, we'll use the O L combo. O L. Second of all, we'll use the A S combo. Sorry. A S. And that should pretty much do the trick for us. So, if we, we use these two combos, N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S. Now it's starting to look a little better here. So let's see if we can't first, as always, turn this into a box shape, like a Chinese character. One of the goals of Descript was always to bring, Chi bring English up to the level of Chinese characters in the writing sense, that we can occupy a single box with a word. So... Let's try to make this box shaped. And the nice thing about ends is they're very flexible, so you can kind of fill in space on the top in any way you like. N I C H O L A S. Now it's pretty close to a perfect box shape. You don't have to make a box either. Chinese characters aren't all perfect boxes. So, but the key is you will have a space allotted to each word. In, if you're trying to use this alongside Chinese characters, as is one of the main purposes of Descript. Once you've turned all your words into symbols, now you're on the same page as Chinese. One character, one meaning. 